guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to tell you all about my curly hair journey how my hair was before and the steps I took to get my hair back to health you're going to see pictures of me you're going to see a lot of different colors and a lot of different hair lengths because I dyed my hair a lot and I cut it myself I'm crazy I know but let's just get right into it by the way I hope you guys don't judge me because I didn't paint my nails so both of my parents have naturally curly hair, so obviously I was born with naturally curly hair. So my mom always did my hair when I was a kid. I didn't really have to worry about it until I got to middle school. And I took over and started doing my own hair. And that's when problems started because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I used to brush out my hair a lot because I thought that was the normal thing to do. And obviously curly girls know it's a rule. We don't brush out our hair <laughs> unless it's wet and you're just like combing out and detangling knots, that's different. But I would brush my hair regularly dry, and that is not a good idea. So my hair was very kind of frizzy and wavy. Obviously as a kid, I didn't know how to maintain my curls. I didn't know anything about styling or certain products to use or certain tools to use. So my hair looked all kinds of crazy most of the time. Usually what would happen is I would brush it out and it would kind of have the wavy thing going on or I would put it up in a ponytail or I would just beg my mom to straighten my hair or blow dry my hair, go to the Spanish salon or whatever because straight hair was like a treat for me. And in middle school I really really wished that I had straight hair, like I had friends who had straight hair and it just seemed so much easier to deal with. I didn't understand the differences between them, so I just wasn't really happy with my natural hair. As I got older, I had like all the typical New York girl hairstyles, <laughs> like the tight ponytail, the parts of the side. Um, I had the baby hairs slick, okay, at all times. I mean, those things were like, you know what I'm talking about. Comment below if you had those same hairstyles growing up. If you were from New York, because you know we had to have our baby hairs like pop. I had cornrows. My cousin used to braid my hair, even though I was super tender headed. But like I said, I also used to straighten it a lot or get it blown out because I just didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to handle it. Hey! Dexter wants to say hi. It's actually raining outside right now, and I just have been trying to get this video up. I'm not trying to let nothing stop me. So by the time I was in high school, my hair was already pretty long and I was kind of just continuing in the same cycle of not really knowing how to take care of my hair. Um, I did leave it curly sometimes, but that curly really meant like, it was more of like a wave and there was no volume to it, no definition. It was kind of different curls, different pieces, different lengths, like there was, it was just not a good look. You guys know in my first curly hair tutorial video how much I dislike the wet curly hair look where it's like gelled and hard and matted down and no volume. I dislike it so much because I had it for so long so like when I see it I'm like no 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 no. Put a blow dryer to your hair. A diffuser something because we need volume. So in college, I kept my hair pretty much, like I said, the same. I would go back and forth with straightening it, trying to leave it curly. Um, at this point, I did have some definition to my hair because I realized every time I cut my hair, they were so much more springy and bouncy and healthy. And it was because I was cutting off all the damaged ends. Now, what I should have done was just leave it alone and stop dyeing it and stop straightening it. But again, I didn't know. Around this time, the keratin treatment was like really popular I think it was around 2010 and a lot of our friends in the area were getting it done like ladies my mom's age friends my age and one day my mom actually took me as a Christmas gift I believe it was to get a keratin treatment done so what the keratin treatment does is it's supposed to straighten your hair and defrizz it for a few months but it all depends on the type of hair that you have. The stylist puts the product on your hair and then they seal it with a straightener and you're not supposed to wash your hair for the next I think three or four days um, because the product has to seep in. When I first got it done I was so excited that I didn't have to deal with my hair anymore. I could just wake up and 
go. My hair was already like straight. I didn't have to worry about it. And eventually when I washed it, it was still really, really straight. It just had like a little bit of a wave, but my hair was super easy to manage. And overall, it was great. So mine lasted for a few months. And after a while, I started noticing that I was wearing off a little bit. So I go to Walgreens when I noticed that my hair started to kind of like lose the keratin treatments to get a home Brazilian straightening treatment. And I do it myself on my hair. I'm crazy, I know. And that lasted another like four to five months. So it was great while it lasted, but after a while, I did start to miss my curls. I can't believe this guy is mowing his lawn in the rain. Who does that? I started to miss my curls. So I would see other girls with curly hair and I would think, man, I wish my curls were as defined as hers, or I wish my hair was as big as hers, or I wish my curls were as bouncy as hers. I always wanted something that I didn't have, or so I thought. So I remember one day getting on my laptop and just researching curly hair maintenance. And I found um, naturallycurly.com. And I found some other websites that were made especially for girls with curly hair. I also did some research on YouTube and I found some curly hair gurus, but the one that stuck out to me the most was Sunkiss Alba. I watched her videos, I saw her journey from where her hair was really damaged from the straightening iron to all the steps that she took to get her hair back to health and her curls were beautiful and so defined and I realized if she could do it, I could do it. I also found out about the curly girl method which was really popular around this time. I was so ready to get all the products that I needed to stop straightening my hair and just begin this new journey. As I was trying to get my curls back, I got scared because I realized they were not curling. Like the most my hair would do was a wave but it would not curl like spiral how it used to. So this is when I started implementing products specifically for curly hair like Shea Moisture, like Diva Curl, um, Kinky Curly. But when your hair is unhealthy like that, just because you use those products doesn't mean it's gonna get your hair back to normal. So I made my decision to start my curly hair journey. I got so excited, I started telling all my friends about my results. I started posting pictures of the progress little by little and I was finally able to see my curls come back. But just remember, you have to go through that difficult, difficult stage of having your new growth come in, which is obviously in your root area. So my roots were like really curly and then the rest of my hair was like a dead wave. It was so bad, it looked horrible. But I did what I had to do. I was very patient and I kind of tried to trim my hair every few months to cut off that dead hair. But little by little, my hair grew out. So two years ago, I actually got to meet Alba because she had a meet and greet in New York. And I have family in New York, so I kind of used that as an opportunity to go visit them and also see her. And it was such a cool experience. Um, it was at Ricky's in Brooklyn and she was there with her husband he was so cool and down to earth he was kind of like um standing at the door while we all waited in line the line was super long by the way but he kind of just talked to us and joked with us and he was so supportive of her which was really cute but once we finally got in line and we got up to her it was like i was nervous but super excited at the same time because this is somebody that really really helped me and if i didn't see her video i don't know where my hair would be right now so we got to talk, we got to meet, I got to thank her, and she called me gorgeous, which like made my day, so I was like super hyped the rest of the day. But um, she was just so cool, and I was really inspired by her. So thank you, Alba, if you ever happen to watch this. If you didn't have your hair videos online, I don't know how my hair would have been looking. I would have been, I don't know, crazy, looking crazy. So I do admit the journey from start to finish was probably about two years only because I was kind of hard-headed and I continued dyeing my hair through that waiting period. So I think if you refrain from heat and you refrain from dye and just let your hair be in its natural state, you will get much quicker results. It felt so good to see my curls come back and feel like my old self again. Like I've always had curls, they were always a part of me and not having them was just was just weird. So my friends got to see the improvement and they started asking me 
how they can get their curls back. But it was really cool to be able to help people and that is why I'm doing this video. I want to encourage you, if you are on that journey of trying to get your curly hair back from heat damage or color damage, you can do it. You just have to be patient and you have to use wisdom with what you put in your hair, what you use on your hair, certain products, heat, all that stuff really, really affects your hair. I will make a little side note that ever since I dyed my hair blonde, it isn't as curly as it normally is when my hair is naturally brown. Um, but I do like it, I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna keep it for a little while. But um, eventually, I'm probably gonna go back to my natural brown hair color. So just keep that in mind too. If you dye your hair a really, really light color, you aren't going to get the full potential of what your curls can be. If you are on this journey right now, please leave a comment below and tell me what stage you're in. I would love to hear it. If you have gone through this journey and there are some tips that I haven't mentioned, please, by all means, leave them in the comments below. It helps somebody else out. I hope this inspired and encouraged somebody like somebody did for me. So have a great day, guys, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.